All right, so today we are going to attempt to put in an IPS mod kit into this Game Boy Pocket. And I ordered this kit from Handheld Legend. So it comes with, hopefully, everything that you need to do the mod. They say it's drop-in, so we'll, we'll see if that's true or not. So we have this deal and we have a wire, some kind of foam pad, and we got this deal and another looks like, please, what does it say, paste this in, insulating film on the back of the PCB board. So, and this one says, Attach this insulating film to the metal surface on the back of the LCD. Okay, roger that. So let's take this apart. Alright, so everything is out of the pack and they tell you to do a dry run. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a dry run. So I've got my Game Boy Pocket. I've got it hooked up to the to my power supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in my ribbon cable. And go ahead and get that snug down. And then I'm going to take my screen and I am going to plug it in. And snap it down. All right. So two things. The first thing this Looking at the pictures, this wire right here, looking at the pictures on handheldlegend.com, that picture right there, or that the picture shows that, that going to your voltage or to your power switch. But it has it going to pin this pin right here, pin whatever one, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, but pin one is the, that's where battery voltage goes to. And then when you flip the switch, then that voltage is felt, you know, down here. So, not exactly sure. So I'm going to put it on that second pin so that when you apply power, then it gets then it gets the, the three volts. So let's uh, all right. So that's attached firmly. So another thing I have. this deal right here which is some sort of touch sensor and then you have this right here which I'm assuming is some sort of touch sensor not exactly sure but that's in the way of the power switch so when you go to put that in the case it's going to be right there by the power switch so what are you supposed to do with it I don't know I don't like it being there so I think that there is a touch up a point right here and it's labeled touch um, so I think I'll put a dab of solder there and then plug that in and then run that to the top of the case when I put it in there but for now I just want to make sure that it cuts on so make sure it's off it is indeed off so we'll go ahead and cut it on we'll go ahead and apply power and as you can see our screen lights up and our console boots up so that's how you're supposed to connect it so let me go ahead and take that off so I gotta tell you I do this this screen is way too way too small and they said that it's smaller than a normal screen but I didn't think it would be so small that you would have to buy one of their custom made lenses to put in here but you're gonna have to buy a custom-made lens 
because uh, oh and another thing this is some kind of foam pad and this the picture showed it was supposed to come with some uh, 3m tape but I didn't get any 3m tape to, to to glue that down so but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna actually um, glue that down anyways because I'm gonna have to order well <laughs> a new lens you know since the screen is like the size of a friggin Samsung watch anyways enough of my whining enough of my whining all right so we're going to go ahead and set this to the side we are going to go ahead and set this to the side we are going to cut power off on our power supply we are going to disconnect my my makeshift alligator clip I really need to get me some alligator clips, man. This is ridiculous. I order from eBay. I order all the things. Or not eBay, but Amazon or whatever. And I'll order capacitors and resistors. But I'll always forget to order the snip. Uh, those flat cutters or whatever they're called. Oh, and one, one other thing. I also went ahead and you received two stickers two of those yellow things right here that told you where to place them so I went ahead and placed them uh, where they told me to, to place them um, that way nothing shorts out so now so this is going to sit down in here like so, so let's, uh, let's move this out of the way real quick here so I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna remove the protective covering yet because this can't be permanent yet. Oh my goodness. So that looks about even. Yeah, I do not, I am not approving of this I'd rather cut the friggin I'd rather cut the case than have to order yeah whatever man I bought it now so and it works so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna friggin send it back and be like oh this thing sucks you know what I'm saying I'll just lesson learned I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in here just so I can see if I can't uh, figure out how to some way of getting it to work because I'm assuming this is something to do with the touch I would I would I would guess I mean you know but even if I no no I'm not I'm not putting that on there that's just it's just dumb I'm not even sure what that's for how's this sucker fold over fold over like this no Maybe it folds over like this. Look at that. So then, of course, you could use some you could use some tape or or whatever the case may be to hold that in there. But again, that's one thing that I keep meaning to order is some of that Kapton tape, but I don't ever do it. speaker to sit down in there nicely all right so I think that uh let's go ahead and put a screw uh, you know what man I have to take this out because I have to put the touch screen in there so let's hold this over where did it say the touch was at so it says the touch is right here so let's put a dab of, a dab of a flux on there. Let's put some solder. There we go. Now, we'll take our red wire. And we'll go ahead and fix that to it.
Come on, bro. I guess that's on there. We'll call it good. All right, so we'll let that run out like that. So that folds up, this folds up. Now we can put our board back in there. Oh, dude, well, I hate these speakers, bro. So I think that's sitting in there nicely. Let's grab a screw. Let's go ahead and put our ribbon cable in. And just to be on the safe side, that one, this one piece right here, I don't really, I don't really trust because that might, that might have been too long, huh? What is some old tape here? that there just in case all right so let's cut this down to size so so we're going to so I want it to be roughly that long and then Try to strip it, and it is stripped. Now we'll take our tweezers, put a little dab of flux right there. All right, that's fixed. So let's uh, straighten up this wire. And then this other, so then we're gonna take this other piece, cut it short. And we'll go ahead and connect it to ground. So, I'll take my soldering iron, go around this, melt the shielding. All right, and then we'll take uh, our tweezers, go ahead and melt this side, like so. Bend that down like that. And then I hesitate to actually attach this, but
yeah this is a cheap cheap little piece of trash right here I don't know if those other ones are better than this but I hope they are because this thing is not okay so I guess we'll do it like that right there fold these back down all right so now um, let's go ahead and take our case see this is what it looks like from the front man I mean you don't have any choice but to get a, a friggin lens for that thing it's just hideous why in the world would they even make whatever man so let's uh, put our batteries in let's cut it on see if we get something and we do not no power no friggin nothing There we go. So because this thing sits up kind of high, the power switch was not making connection. Let me find a game. Put Tetris in. See if it'll read it. There we go. See, that's your brightness. Pretty cool. Still looks like crap there. But anyhow, I guess I'll, uh, but that's how you install it. It's pretty, pretty simple. But I, I wouldn't, if I would have known, I would, I would not buy these again. Because I did, there's nothing wrong with this lens, you know. So what's the point in me having to buy a whole nother lens and replace this one just to, to get that itty bitty teeny screen, you know. But anyhow, so that's how you do it. All right, y'all be good.